Hi, I'm Tyrone. Like your shoelaces, you Tyrone. Today's adventure, hyperdrive kart racing. Coming into Kingston from the southern outlet, go to the far right lane. It looks like it's taking you past Kingston through the Kingston bypass, but it takes you to the top end of Kingston. Left lane up to the cholesterol corner roundabout, straight through the roundabout onto the old Channel Highway, and follow this road past Woolworths, along a little bit further past the old Kingston Pool to Merton Vale Circuit. Once you see the Kingston Pool, it's the next right, so be prepared to turn. Into Merton Vale Circuit, past these cool little shops, and right into hyperdrive kart racing. This is a different day because I didn't really want to race against a whole bunch of other people. So when you get in, register yourself, check in. If you've booked a race, good. I think they appreciate that. Um, sign in, check in, pay your dues. Do the long walk past the go-karts into the helmet the room. The Staff will say good day. They're friendly. Well, some of them are. Well, some of them are to me. So I'll show you to watch the safety briefing for me. And the safety of others very seriously. Empty your pockets and get into your cart. These are all electric carts. The thing about these carts is, the objective is not to get in front. The objective is to log the quickest lap time, at least for the standard race. So don't worry about jostling for position, do that to have fun, but instead go for a fast lap time. Your first lap isn't timed, so go ahead and drive over this boost activation. These electric carts have a button on their steering wheel that gives them a little bit of extra oomph. A boost button. The boost lasts for 10 seconds over the space of two laps. You can use it all in the one lap. Once you know the objective, the strategy, is to have a fast lap and then a slow lap. For the fast lap, you log a quick time and use all of the boost. The slow lap, you keep the tyres warm and drive over the boost activator. Coming up now is my quickest lap. It's 18.355 seconds. It's not the lap record, but it's well ahead of the bell curve. There are things to work on, but it's as quick as I can get it consistently. Okay, how do we do this? Well, just before crossing the start-finish line, use your boost to get the cart up to the top speed. Coming into this first corner, take it tight, but make sure you end out wide. The next corner is a hairpin to the left. You don't want to steer the cart right to take a left-hand corner. So smoothly get out wide on the track so that you can take this next left. When you reach the point about here, turn in, turn in hard. You'll get some understeer, but you'll make it round the corner. At about this point, dart on the brakes. Just stab them in hard for as quick and short amount of time as possible. You've lost the front end. This will bring the back end round and straighten the cart out. If you do it right, you'll end up pointing the right direction so that you can take this right-hander without having to keep turning left before it. As soon as you're out of the corner, hit the boost button until you are at about this point. From here, start to widen the cart's line out. Hit this corner here. After you've done that corner, take your foot off the accelerator. You don't need to brake through here. 
In fact, you can leave your foot all the way on the accelerator, but that gives you a bad case of understeer. That is quite slow. As soon as you're through the first corner of this chicane, keep turning a little bit, stab the boost button, and hold onto it for about a meter and a half. Then turn hard for this left-hander. Off the boost, on the accelerator, get as close as you can to the corner just before you're at the apex. Stab the boost button again and hold onto it. This will bring the back end of the cart around and set you up nicely for the next corner. Take that tight end narrow and from here it's fairly straight run to the finish line. Keep a nice, smooth, continuous arc all the way around these next two corners to the finish line. You don't want to yank on the steering wheel. Yanking on the steering wheel will slow you down. You'll lose traction and you'll understeer and that is a way to slow the cart down. Hold on to the boost the entire way around here. If you've done it right then the boost will end just as you hit the start finish line. Rolling up, rolling through and there you go. That's my 18.355. Here we go again at real speed. Start narrow, finish wide, start the turn, then tap the brakes, accelerate out with the boost, coming into the chicane, hit the apex, accelerate out with the boost, and then boost your way through this smooth cornering arc all the way back to the start finish line. My lap times went from about 18 and a half seconds, then up to 20 seconds, then 18 and a half seconds, then up to 22 seconds, so that I could get the most effective fast lap without running into the back of these guys who are also on the track. If you're onto a nice lap, the last thing you want to do is come into some other people because they're just going to slow you down. In the end, put your card away. Flash the lights at the attendants, they often like that. Don't forget to take your neck brace off. And then get out of there. But careful. Careful you don't throw your arm out as you pat your back super hard for being ridiculously amazing racing driver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you lads. See you mate. And that's how you do, well that's how I do my hyperdrive kart racing. And the cool thing is I can still practice and get better, but for now I've found a consistently quick method.